he has one secondary or so, but I'm not entirely sure on that. But so. he comes during the summer, and he's very patient, and he's pretty good at it. I, like, put him at around limits level. Is that what you said? Yeah. Zelda, a character for all those who know me, definitely stories to be told between <laughs> me and Zelda. Uh, we have a love-hate relationship. I don't call her up anymore. Uh, One second. Not a, Let's not the biggest fan of Zelda in terms of playing against it, but uh, to get to commentate as a He-Man vs. IPK, that was still sick. And let's see if uh -huh. Elso can recreate some magic like that. Oh! Oh, that was... Ooh. So Cut had to be Oh, shot. he beat! He beat AJ! So now he's in winner's quarters. What a god! Okay. I don't know why you seated him so high, by the way. We were both confused. Eh. Eh, I don't know. Uh, it's because he beat the stocks that one time. Yeah, but he's not... He, it's Mario. I play against him every day. And he beats Lemon. Eh. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Loyal well, versus Elso. As I pull this up. There we go. Ah! What the heck? Yeah, you can talk. Okay, there you go. Wow. Quick first stock for Elso. So I am not gonna lie, I think this is the worst matchup in the world for Mario. And not... Mario definitely wins. 100%. But, man, like, does it feel like... Does it feel so bad when you get hit? You know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. back air, forward air, like, all those moves are so big, and Mario doesn't have a lot of disjoints. So it can be hard for him to get in. I want to see how Loyal adapts to that. Also, pill camping's not going to work because of that. Mario's love is just too good. Uh, so what, me, what Stocks does, because I'm not very successful in this match, to be completely honest, uh, is he dash dances uh, at the outside, which is, which is pretty universal, it's a universal you know, Zelda stuff. He dash dances outside of the range of Lightning Kick, but inside to Inspire. Uh, that is the sweet spot space you want to be in, uh, and, and you make Zelda move. But good stuff from also uh, puts those uh, dense fires right on the edge. You're gonna burn them, keep them off the ledge. Also, I think this is losers. I yeah. Think losers. Okay. All right, that doesn't collide. Oh. Well, that's actually gonna kill, right? Oh no. no. Okay. What's Loyal need to do? Uh, Loyal needs to be more patient. Uh, the problem against Zelda, for some people, is that if you don't have an objective going into Zelda, it's easy to get caught up in her stuff, uh -huh. get really frustrated, run into her a lot. Uh, and I think that's kind of what I'm seeing from Loyal. Yeah, so that dash attack, for example, yeah. that's not going to do it. That's not going to cut it against Zelda. And with also being the patient player that he is, he's kind of just like going to sit back and throw out those dense fires, yeah. going to try to make Loyal approach. He's in the lead. My man's chilling. Uh, yeah. So... A, big, a good thing you can do, uh, bait out the kick, aim for the foot with forward smash. Probably one of the most effective ways of killing Zelda. You can kill her at like 100, 90, or like 90 or 100. <laughs> oh my goodness, just torch its forward smash after forward smash! Third time's the charm. Jeez. Oh. Okay, fourth throw. Alright, not bad. You're not gonna get anything off down throw anyway. Oh, huh. this is so hard. Man. Not, oh, okay. Oh. See, he went for the forward smash there, but the difference was it was the teleport. And with tele, you need to recognize teleport patterns. It's so important. It makes playing against Zelda so much easier, uh -huh. uh, especially because I think almost like every Zelda can't be like really isn't that unpredictable. Like Zahime, like for example, like great player. Teleports are kind of obvious. That's why it's, uh, Venom hard hard read knees him at the end of game five. Uh -huh. So things like that need to be converted off of. Uh, all right, that's not gonna that's gonna cut it, man. Is uh, there is Zelda like one of those characters where there's a really tight percentage on where that down throw fair works? Never hurts. Okay. Almost never hits. Because the thing he can do is he can immediately uh, I think it's double jump now he's love. Uh -huh. And it tucks his legs in. So it's hard to hit. So what you do is you down throw and then you, you oh. jump after them, and then when they double jump, you meet you double jump fair them. That's uh -huh. what you do. You have to like it's like a big bait thing. It's like a Smash 4 thing actually. That's the inspiration where I got that from. But yeah, I don't know, I think this matchup's so gross, I hate it. I feel so bad. Oh now he's panicking. Anyways. There was one thing that I noticed there that Elso did was Loyal saw that Elso was teleporting right in front of him, mm. so he decided to turn around because he figured that Elso was going to try to like get that quick hit okay. and yeah. like get a mix-up on him. However, Elso mixed him up in a way that instead of doing that, he just teleports down and yeah. makes like no distance, and it causes Loyal to commit to the forward smash, and Elso is able to punish. Exactly. Um, another big point, Elso has gotten a lot of mileage off of just teleporting in front of him and like hitting him or grabbing him. But it's always been, but like, he's been, he's done it like three or four times already. And I want to see Loyal adapt to that option. Uh-huh. 
Oh, he's dead. Frustrating matchup. Uh -huh. Hard to deal with. I think Loyal should be more conscious about where he is in the stage. Uh -huh. Because sometimes I feel like he's not really spacing well. He's kind of just being in Zelda's range when you don't want to be in that range. Uh -huh. Alright, switches to Ike. I like this chase. Um, I think disjoints are going to... The way he's playing, right? Because Mario can do it, right? And I, I'm talking about the matchup. I'm saying it's really hard. Mario can do it. But the thing is, he has not shown that he can make the adaptions on his Mario. Um, so that's why, I, you know, not only that, but also, uh, let's change the pay terms. But also, the fact that um, if you're not prepared to play against Zelda, you need to. I, I think the Switch is the right decision. That's basically what I'm saying. Uh huh. Yeah. Sorry, Gio. Mom getting mad at me. Alright. So, gonna be able to. Uh, but the concept still applies, regardless of. The character, the neutral still needs to be there. He still needs to uh, move, in, like in in, in his uh, in his dense fire outside of his forward airs and back air range, and uh -huh. he needs to be able to uh, command that space. Um, it doesn't matter what character you're playing; it's gonna make it easier to find straight hits. But you still won't beat Zelda if you can't uh, control that area. Okay, uh, Ike's sword is about the length of that area. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, this is actually. Oh my god, I should play. I'm gonna play Ike against Geo! Oh my god, this looks so much fun! Or it, doesn't, it just looks better than like Mario. I don't know, it feels so bad, man. Oh, smash. Oh, oh great, great. very nice. Short. Yeah, very short and sweet spot. Let's go, Elso. Not so low he dies off the bottom, not so high that he dies from the forward smash. Yeah, yeah. but uh, uh, drop new back air is gonna close that stock out for Loyal. And uh, looking Ooh. more comfortable on the side. Yeah, for sure. All right, but well, that up smash gonna came right. Hey, you remember that at uh, at uh, Supernova? Hey, <laughs> that was so much fun. <laughs> yeah, what a great day. Okay, but anyway, that up smash isn't gonna connect. Uh, also finds his way safely to the ground. Uh, I want to see Loyal put him in the air more. Okay, not like that. So you can go under Zelda, but don't go to the same height that she's at, right? Just stay under her, and there's up air, right? And then if she teleports, just you know, stay lagless, be ready. Oh, that's great. Uh huh. Now, Loyal seems to be doing a lot better with Ike. What do you think that Elso could be doing that to, like, right. counteract that? Um, so, Loyal's movement has not been, you know, he has, he's been committing to moves a lot. So, I want to actually see, Elso has also had the same issue where he's not been dash dancing that much. Uh, you don't associate that with Zelda, but, hey man, you gotta make it work. This character's just throwing disjoints at you and... Ooh. Ooh. Uh, this character's just throwing disjoints, yeah, that's sick. Uh, this character's just throwing disjoints at you and you need to be able to, uh, break that guard. Okay. Even uh, if Elso was like above the ledge and didn't grab the ledge, that oh, was so good. Exactly spaced. Yeah. I hope it gets the really good forward air off the other side of the stage. Elso needs to stay grounded and he needs to uh, work the game. Let the game come to him from there. Like, yeah. if you run run in shield into forward, like di shield di in, and then when he hits you, you forward you forward air. He's dead. Uh huh. Or he'll you know you'll get you'll get a off stage situation. I still don't think Loyal is still really being like really conscious about how he's approaching and how nope. he's positioned versus no. Elso. I agree. I think Elso. He's literally just. I think he's literally just you know putting the sword out there and just getting hits because Elso doesn't understand. Uh, is struggling against the sword. Yeah. Oh, that's so good though. I think Elso kind of just like needs to read like all a lot more of his approaches since yeah, they're really rather predictable. A little bit, yeah. And. Um, yeah. Not a lot of move. That was probably one of the least movement heavy games I've ever seen in a game of PM. The counter pick war goes to his Marth. Okay. I knew also had another character. Okay. I just didn't know which one it was. Mm. So, oh, okay, we're switching characters. That's the wrong guy. No, Loyal switched from Ike. Ike. I forgot to put that. Oh, Loyal switched from Ike? No, Loyal picked Ike. And then. He wasn't on Ike, he was on Mario. There we go. Okay. So, also. I mean, this is. This, this is, is such a, a PM. This is such a PM <laughs> moment. Yeah. This, this is such is, a PM moment. It hurts. This is not a good matchup for Ike. Mars nope. can kind of just outspace Ike with everything. Right. Ike, he's just so much faster, and yeah. he has a disjoint. Ike can't really get much started. Yeah. <sighs> so, I want to see. Uh, I think down tilt for uh, Mars Mar will be huge here. Uh, pushes Ike back, forces him into a shield. Ike in a shield. Uh, Ike in a shield is about as scary as nipples on a man. Literally do nothing. Oh my gosh! Literally just starts the <laughs> game. Way dash forward, F smash. 
So how do you think about this stage choice? Because as we just saw, Elso kind of lost here with Zelda. Um, stage choice? Yeah. Fine. Uh, I think that I would prefer a wider stage, especially because Loyal has not, literally not moved. <laughs> uh, no, literally, like he's just jumping at him and with aerials and stuff. So that, I think that's the biggest uh, criticism if I had to get to Loyal, that's what it would be right now. For this, like, <laughs> and the F smashes are cashing in. Also, not exactly a very... This is like two very immobile players I'm watching <laughs> right now. Like, see, like, four dash onto his shield. Oh my goodness. But... You know, when they find their hits, when they find their punishes, they look good. It's just that they're, you know, they, they look very stiff. I'm just seeing Elso, like, crouch cancel and just use forward smash excessively right now. Mm. Ooh, that was yeah. a nice damage. There we go, okay. That, that was, like, really high up and somehow... Loyal didn't have the best DI, probably should have DI'd into the a stage. Bit, yeah. Um, you know, hard to have that awareness at the top of the stage. You know, you're scared of Marth. Uh -huh. um, so their punishes are both fine. Or, you know, you know, that's not what's gonna what the difference in the set is. The difference in the set is gonna be who wins the neutral situations. Uh -huh. uh, and like you said, like Loyal just spammed like three back airs there and uh, also managed to outspace him. Uh -huh. And then now he doesn't respect him on the ledge and then So like there's just so little movement. I don't know. It's hard to really hard to call this one, because at any moment one of them can get a big punish and just kill the other person immediately. So hmm. I don't know. What Mafia? Yeah yeah yeah. Okay, so that down smash is gonna work out. Alright, forward smash, down, okay, that down smash is going to work out, but, uh, gets out of there, that's all that matters. There. So, as Marth, I want to see Elso, first of all, use much less forward smashes, because those are getting him punished. Yeah, they are. Rather hard. No, it's not working. Yeah. And uh, second, I, I want to see my man's move! Huh? I want to see my man move! Marth is such a <laughs> great movement! He can, yeah. there's so much he can do here. Uh, he could dash it, like, at the edge of his range. Uh, Loyal's been committing to a lot of moves in the whiff punish. Uh, uh oh, he's live? Yeah. Uh, he could uh, just dash dance to beta things out. He yeah. can dash dance. He can literally dash dance loyal into a worse position because he's gonna respect him because he's been committing these aerials. Once he gets like under him or into a, like a scary position, he's just gonna uh, grab him or and kill him. Yeah. I don't know. Or he doesn't. Ex yeah. Ooh. I've been really critical of these players, back. but it's because I think it's because it's in such a glaring thing in this set for me. Uh -huh. So I don't know. So another thing that also could be doing that could be in a replacement for dash dancing if he's not really comfortable with that. He can kind of just try to catch all of Loyal's approaches because Moth yeah. has all those disjoints. Like he can try yeah. to get it with a down tilt, he can try to get it with a fair, he can... Hell, if he's feeling risky, he can try to go for an up tilt or even a side B if you really want to do that. <laughs> my, my man has decisions. My Good games to both players. Loyal's going to take that set. The Ike switch works out for him. Yeah. Uh, stream, I'll be popping off. Goodbye. So Peach Kid will I. be in.